buddy. There's a bear behind you. Bear behind you. Coming face to face with a bear might seem a little scary, but he's not interested in me. He's after the salmon that have come to this stream to spawn. I just went snorkeling with a bear. <laughs> that is just so cool to know that when you're snorkeling through the river looking for fish, at any time, there could be a bear on the bank. I guess it shouldn't surprise me. The bears here are getting ready to hibernate, so they need to pack on the pounds. Wherever I go looking for salmon, the bears are already there, ready to eat. So I'm just in the river here, and it's absolutely packed full of salmon. And look what I found here. It's a little bear dinner table. And you can see these ones, they've completely stripped, left their heads. This guy, they've hardly touched. And at the start of the season, they won't be selected at all. They'll get anything they can get, and then they'll strip the whole fish, and there'll be nothing left. Towards the end of the salmon run, when they've had lots of fish to eat, they'll start being really selective. And they'll only go for females, and then they'll just eat the, the most nutritious parts, the, the eggs uh, and the skin and the, the brain, like in that guy. We've seen the bears looking, and we've seen the aftermath. It's time to see the action. I've come down with the video kit. I've got some little miniature cameras that I want to rig up. Well, this one's going to be right in its face. And I think the other thing to say is that I've had a lot of experience with black bears. We're not taking this situation lightly. I have a smile on my face the whole time because I'm stoked about everything that's happening. But behind this smile is a brain and cogs that are going in overdrive working out, OK, are we safe? Are the bears safe? That's more important than our safety. Because if we were to put ourselves in a situation that was dangerous and the bear were to do something bad to us, well, you're just giving the bear a death sentence. What's amazing is that I've spent months with these bears and they've all been on the shoreline rolling rocks, eating crabs. And on the beach, they're... Whoa! He's got one, he's got one. Wow! Look at the fish! No matter where I spot the bears, they are simultaneously really, really impressive and powerful, but also kind of adorably clumsy. But I guess in fairness to the bears, these are huge fish. It's like trying to catch a giant muscly bar of soap. Even though the salmon are exhausted from this migration, their drive to reproduce means their tail can still pack a punch. It seems like every stream is alive with bears on the hunt. Good weather or bad, the bears are out in force. This is just another example of how the ocean and rainforest are so closely tied on Vancouver Island. Without all these fish bringing in nutrients from the sea, there is no way this island can support one of the highest densities of black bears in the world. <laughs> that is just incredible. <laughs>
Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have enjoyed it, please do share it with your friends and family because that's what makes these series these series possible. So I'm very grateful for your support. Um, hopefully see you soon for another epic wildlife adventure.